49ers troubled, you could say linebacker slash defensive end. Hey, he's a defensive end. Alden Smith has been arrested at LAX airport. They stated afterwards that he was not intoxicated, he was not drunk, but they believe that he had a few to drink, maybe one or two, who knows. He was not incredibly belligerent in that light, but he was belligerent in another light. What exactly do we mean? Let's see the video, and then we'll discuss. You know, there's no better way to get off the hook with an officer by yelling at them expletives and then going up on them, looking down at them, and looking hard. What are you thinking at that point? Like, oh yeah, you're, you're going to do that. You're going to, whether it was him or his friends saying, Alden Smith, Alden Smith, also not helping the cause. Public Information's officer, Carla Ortiz, put out a statement and went through exactly what happened. So here we go. He went through security at Terminal 1. He was selected randomly for secondary screening. There, thereafter, he became belligerent and uncooperative. This is a punishable crime by imprisonment. What exactly happened? That's the biggest part of this, obviously, that I'm leaving out foolishly. He claimed that he had a bomb in an airport. Come on, like, really? Oh, God. I, I mean, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm dumbfounded by this entire thing. Saying that you have a bomb in an airport. And, like, the thing is, he's an NFL player. So he's not going to get anything that you or I would get if we were to foolishly ever do this in our lives, which I hope none of you would ever do. Joking or not joking, never cool. The NFL player conduct policy, here's where we turn to Roger Goodell and his brilliance of running this league, states, as an employee of the NFL or a member club, you are held to a higher standard and expected to conduct yourself in a way that is responsible, promotes the values upon which the league is based and is lawful. How touching. Continuing on, criminal offenses, including but not limited to those involving the use of threat or violence, there was a threat. Domestic violence and other forms of partner abuse, theft, and other property crimes, blah, blah, blah. Criminal offenses relating to steroids and prohibited substances. Okay, well, moving on. Violent or threatening behavior among employees, whether in or outside the workplace, possession of a gun or other weapon, which has happened with Alden Smith, or unlawful possession of a weapon outside of the workplace. Ding, ding, ding. Conduct that imposes inherent danger to the safety and well-being of another person. Check that one off the list for Alden Smith as well. And conduct that undermines or puts at risk the integrity and reputation of the NFL, NFL clubs, or NFL players. Check that one off as well. So Alden Smith, as we all know, world-class talent. Phenomenal football player. 2012 All-Pro. In like 34 career games, he has 33 sacks. I mean, he's good. He's very good. Has he benefited from Justin Smith? Certainly. But when do we take a step back from what they do on the field and punish them for what they do off the field? Look, last year he went into a treatment facility. Roger Goodell and I believe it was Tim Balke, a general manager of the San Francisco 49ers, essentially said, Alden Smith came to them and said, I need help. Now, are they backing him up? 
Maybe, maybe they forced him to go through that after. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go through the laundry list of what's happened with him. Two times he has got a DUI. Five months he was in treatment. He is facing three felony weapons charges in 2012 when there was a party at his house. He was stabbed. Two people were shot. And now, now on his on the flip side, he's entering the fourth year of his rookie deal. May 5th is when San Francisco can pick up the option for nine million dollars plus. When does talent not triumph all? In professional sports, it appears that it absolutely never, ever will. What is the correct punishment? I say for Alden Smith, firstly, what would we get if that were one of us? If we had the talent in our respective fields, but it wasn't professional sports and it wasn't to the viewing audience. The correct punishment for me would probably be suspending him for a year. Make an example out of him and then prove and show to other players that you have a little moxie, you have a little balls, and that your players in your respective league should not do this at all. I mean, he has to go to court for this. He has the two DUIs, he had a felony weapons charge, and yet he's probably going to be able to play, if not for the first four games, first six games, let's say, max next season. Bomb threats in an airport. Incredible.